Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays, Bendy and the Ink Machine, which is such a title. It sounds like Corky and the Juice Pigs, but actually it's terrifying in the squealing down the microphone. Let's just stand here and calm down and listen to this. Well, great. No one's going to repair this ever again. And I can see why, because it is clearly powered by the supernatural. Um, I should have, ate, should have eaten all the soup. Okay. And I didn't. Sure, just drain this ink. It didn't leave a residue at all, apart from the you know, still wet ink. It's scary in and of itself, because obviously the ink can leave marks, and yet being flooded up to the knees didn't leave a mark. What is this weird, weird thing that is happening to me and wait <laughs> I don't want to danger keep out yeah let's go this way because danger climb back up there to that weird ink demon which was probably bendy himself uh, it, it's fine sure you know I'd rather deal with an ink demon that scares me onto my back then could, could we have swum in that uh, ready for the next jump scare, everybody, because I've already squealed down your eyeballs once or twice. This is this is terrifying me like Amnesia did. Which, honestly, that's a, that's a great accolade in my opinion. And I hope that you will agree, because um, Amnesia was... It was gimmicky, I guess you could say. An axe may come in handy. Should we find one? Creator lied to us. So, I, I'm going to assume that this is, um... This is the cartoons talking. Right? Because, um... Well, I've played games before, and that would be my assumption, is that this is the cartoons talking, and the creator is Joey. Ooh, I bashed the microphone. I apologise. That was not part of the game. Uh, that was just a little jump scare. Me adding a jump scare to your, your viewing experience. I, I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope you... Appreciate these little personal touches I'm adding to what would otherwise be uh, a game that everyone's you know seen. And, yeah, there's nothing to it, you know. This is fine. Who's <laughs> who's scared now? You know, it's just me alone in a place with a, a literal ink demon running around, making pictures of cardboard cuts of Bendy peer around corners and appear to have a, a personal interest in what I'm doing. Please break this, thank you. Um, I have to be honest. This is a situation. Certainly a thing. This is like the 1920s creepy ass, weird eyed, those triangular Pac Man eyes. Ooh. Wheelchair. Fendi. Could I have not stepped into this? Apparently, not yet about to squeal. In fright, but give me a minute. What was I saying? Yeah, there was a certain gimmickiness, quote unquote, to amnesia, where once you realise what's happening, you can sort of think your way around it. But I think if you don't try, you basically you really have to try. If there's only one thing to do, press on. See if I can find a way out. Why is there a coffin, please? Um. Yeah, the the gimmickiness, quote unquote, is. Something that you can you can analyse yourself and, and sort of steal your brain ready for the tricks it's gonna gonna make. Like no one's scared of these falling wood jump scares. Okay, it's not do considering what you've already made me squeal about. Okay, I'm not interested in your jump scares made of falling wood. Right, and I'm hoping. This place gets so big. I, just, I think I'm supposed to eat all the soup. It's like probably an achievement or something. Right, damn banjo. Don't you dare play the banjo behind me. Oh, I thought we were going to play the uh, good old redneck redneck shuffle there.
I'm gonna pass on the amen. Can I get an amen? Excuse me? He said that in real life, and it wasn't my character speaking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's okay. He's not really here. It's just my imagination. Oh, I can't break down the wooden chair, obviously. I don't like you being there. This is a cult. Yep, I, I, I called it. The fact that the ink machine works on uh, spite is apparently enough to assume that this whole place Whoa. is... Uh... Excuse me, can you help me? Oh my god. Not going to be there, is he? Did he go? Went through this portal. Drink it all. Drink it all. Why wouldn't you? How much bacon soup can one man eat? Come on. You can eat whilst jumping, you see. You're not completely useless. I just broke you. Don't you dare fall back all back together again? <laughs> I'm going to go insane. Oh hello, a 3D version of this creepy ass effigy. Need to get power to this gate somehow. There should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe I can open it. I just could have turned them on in the first place, although now they're open and I didn't do it, so yes. Um, definitely something is happening here. And I will put on, try and remember to put a, a flashy light warning at the start of this episode, possibly even on the thumbnail. Well, ooh, aren't you lucky? Yeah, okay, that's just... You see, the thing is, this is a video game, and I know how computers work. I work with them myself. See, that one I had to open. Um, so... It's quite clear how you would maybe just say when when person looks away. Re reset model. <laughs> and this is what I'm talking about. You have to really put your own mind into um you have to logic away all the not fun feelings that you get. This ink is thick, bro. Not fun feelings that you get trying to sort of <laughs> not allow this this sort of Mind messing to affect you and avoid it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm hoping that now that I have this axe, that when I get attacked by an ink demon, I can hit it rather than falling on my back and running away screaming like a little girl. Well, as dark as it has been. I mean, it's just as dark as everywhere else, please. There's a female inky. Maybe she's called inky. Uh, starting to believe that maybe they do. Um, if if you don't mind me sort of uh, pissing in your Cheerios, there, mate. But the way this is going and everything else working all on its own, and um, ink machines just doing what the hell they want. Yeah. Oh, thanks for you saying stairs. I see now. I didn't realize that they were stairs. Alice Angel. I mean, her Pac-Man eyes are not quite as freaky, but I think that's maybe the fact that. A particular character has not yet jumped out upon me and uh, got the life out of me. Anyone? Happens, yeah. So probably happened.
Okay, are you ready for this? Because I am not. What are we going to see? Let there be light. Now I'm supposed to run down there. I'm not going to. See that? The shiny thing there. Not a fan of that. I'm going to say it's moving. It's not moving. My camera swaying. <gasps> Uh, well, this is 10 minutes into this first terrifying episode. There's only one thing to do, which is to go down those stairs or back the way we came. Uh, which ain't gonna happen. I don't know if I wanna... As you said, then you go into the recording studio, right? And then you open this thing. Free key. Stop it. So that'll be the projector turning itself off again. So that's how long we have. So let's go and explore. Convince ourselves that we're not gonna die. There's no. That didn't work. So it did turn something on. Oh, maybe that was okay. I don't like. Yikes! Enough. Leave me alone, you inky creeps. Jeez Louise. What I want to do is listen to a record. Oh, hello. Right, that's the record. Right. Now I can go in there. Are you still down? Are you going to come back up again? No getting up again. Not allowed. Told you about this. Leave it. Get out of it. There's no health bar. But there is... Oh. Okay, so there's a, there's a an ouchiness level around my head. Do you see that? It's gone away. Okay, here we are down here. And then the projector turns itself off. And we stay here for ages because that's what the other guy said happened. And it didn't really explain itself, so that's nice. This guy will tell me everything. That's not creepy. I mean, it's not like no one said anything creepy so far. But uh, they're saying creepy, and it's not fun. I wish they wouldn't. <laughs> so they're playing music, and you're conducting, and then you're trying to make it match up with that, which makes sense, and then... Okay, we're all good. I'm not going to try and break any of the equipment. I can understand that when this is all over, being able to recover this expensive equipment will be valuable to some people. I've got my axe. Okay, nothing can hurt me. Excuse me. <laughs> why are you why are you full of high pressure ink? Can you desist, please? No, he doesn't like doing that. Not sick, not paid. That sounds about right for Walt Disney. Sorry, what? Who said that? Why can't I close these doors again? Please let me. Don't play the scary sounds, okay? When faced with a pipe organ, you don't play the sound that already highlights, well, that further highlights the already precarious and terrifying situation that you find yourself. Okay? So, play something joyful and tuny. Do not let Joey see this. <laughs> uh, I, th I think we're okay. Joey has got some other things on his mind. For example, the fact that he summoned literal occult demons to uh to do the bendy stuff well there's the pump switch all right but that's one hell of a leak blocking the door though. doing these all fix I themselves stop that ink from flowing maybe i can get oh, it. I didn't okay punching in is that a save button might be stop the ink from flowing my lord fine and then you're gonna jump at me with more of these ink demons i got to unpump that one as well, so. Have you walked past anything recently that could look like uh, an ink pump? Wait, hang on. I need to turn the ink off. Is this going to open now? No. 
Why? <laughs> Why are you like this? Okay. Still alive. These things have not resurrected themselves, even though they look like they're going to. Kind of, it's almost impossible to know if they are waiting for you. Oh, hello. Now we can go in here. No more scaries, please. Hey, Paul. Like in Duke Nukem. This is just like Duke Nukem. Just pretend it's Duke Nukem. Pot a ball. Pot as many balls as you can. Oh, he's got one in. Can I do anything? Can we have it back? Ball return? No. Right. What's in here? Can of bendy drink. Bacon juice. Dry label bacon soup. Little devil likes it. Oh, just, they're laying it on thick. <laughs> there's nothing in here, right? I mean, I feel bad that I'm in here and that there's nothing to do. Can I go through here, please? No. They, they let me open the door, but then won't let me do anything with it, which is just absurd. Absolutely terribly unfair. How would you fix the light underneath there, do you think? Why are you like this? <laughs> I remember making Quake, no, Unreal levels where I put the light under. Is that new? I think we'll listen to it. Yes, the recording light is on because. And you've gone again because that's not creepy or scary or anything weird like that. Now you're up there. You want me to go up there? Am I supposed to get up there? Will these goosebumps please stop? <laughs> My entire body is just tingling all over because my fight or flight reflex is very much on flight right now um, and I would like to know exactly what it is I'm supposed to be doing right, so that's turned off so what am I supposed to do with it being on or off Always on time. oh I did do a little saving thing actually so that might be it So we go, is there anything back here? I've done this right, there's nothing special. Seems like the sort of game where you don't expect to have to go back all the way through a um, previous part of the level. Seems like it, it's very much move onwards. I'm wondering if these, um, these, these record, these tape player thingy will Tell me something different the next time. I'm assuming not. So this is on. You, you people aren't here. Nothing. The fact that they're just staring at me is really upsetting. <laughs> then the thing goes off. Like, what am I supposed to do? If you recall, the one up there said that when the projector went off, i.e. that was enough, they didn't need any more recording, they would still be down here doing something or whatever, and it was weird. Yeah, we've heard that one. It didn't change. Um, what are we doing? Locate the pump control. There can't be that much to do, right? So maybe it's back here. I don't like going through that. <laughs> That's the trouble, it's so slow. Get out of it. This seems promising though, because that's the first time I've been attacked. I'm going back somewhere and I'm getting attacked. So that means I'm supposed to. You're kind of obvious sometimes, that's the trouble. Okay, I, I'm starting to steal myself. My psyche is getting more and more prepared for this. This freaky nonsense, which is not fair, and nobody should be subjected to this. At this, I'm too old for this, you know, I'm going to have a heart attack. Left in this again? Ah, that's all good. Went all the way back. Nothing here. There's nothing here, friends. 
Pump control? Pump control. Pump control? Pump? Pump? Why are there... Look, this, this is not allowed. I'm not down with this at all. Utility shaft 9. I can't... Like, it doesn't... Nah. It's not utility shaft. It's not supposed to be... Stop it. Go away. Pump control? Pump control? Why would the utility shaft just compare, just connect bits of main bits of the building together without any? There's nothing there, right? I haven't missed it. I'd hate to have to do all that again. Push, push, push. Pump control. Pump control. Control. <laughs> One of you is a pump control. Pump control? I don't know if uh, Bendy here is particularly happy with me constantly defiling his effigies. But well, tough, you know? Heck you, bro. This is exit. Uh, I, I feel like it's not really the exit. Pump control? Pump control. In here. The things change when the projector is on. I wonder if there's other things to do when the projector is on. Because it's the only thing that I can actually affect right now is the onness of this projector. And the now there's five of them. What is happening? Do I just have to overload this thing with corkies? I'm going to call them corkies because Colin and Bendy's is. I don't want to. I don't want to give him the the validation. I don't want him to believe that this is okay. Hey, I'm going to stare at you until you come at me, bro. Didn't help. I hate the way they're just staring. It's so freaky. Every note on a piano sounds like the start of a piano rag, don't you think? You're up there. The number of times is the number of times I do this is going to increase the number of corkies that show up down there. Let me <laughs> let me Google this already. Seems foolish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Do I just overload them until I've got an actual choir? Do I have to go all the way, or do I just get more of them each time? One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn it on. Seven. Yeah. Maybe tedious when I'm doing it. I'm expecting something to change one of these times. Because they all have to go somewhere, right? I'll reach it. The other thing is light, <laughs> which is where there's no light to be shining on it. Also annoying. A different film in each time. That says recording still, but you're not recording anymore. Fibbing to me. Might have to figure this out from some other source, i.e. Googling it. Oh, hello. I know your type. Go in anyway? Okay. Hmm. It's kind of gratifying but weird that the uh, ink baddies just stay down. So what are you made of? One hit with an axe and you're done. Now there are seven of you. Tell me about this again.
going to keep doing this. Yeah, so he turns the projector on, he runs down here. Tells everyone to wait in the hall. Still says recording, I'll notice. And now there's this dude. And then he doesn't come out for ages, but of course, I, I came out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. One of these things is going to activate something. Like when we get maybe a full full band? I don't know. Are you going to start recording if I do this again? Now there are eight of them. Correct. I'm going to turn the projector on. And we're going to run downstairs like it tells me to. There's no point. It's a video game, right? The, the exposition is there because I'm supposed to behave the same way as these people. Or that guy. And then, you know, there's eight up there. And then a projector comes off, and then Sammy doesn't come out for ages. Or Mr. Samuel, or whatever his name. Right? Click. Can't sit on the chairs. Otherwise, I would. I heard a noise. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven here. Where's number eight? Are you back there? Or are you about to jump out on me? Things actually attack me in this game, and I'm afraid of the things that don't. <laughs> what does that tell you about the human psyche, huh? We're all freaks. We all float down here. Now there's nine. How many do you need for a full band? How many chairs are there? The tedium of this particular part may not make for the most interesting content. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. That's all of the number. Ten. Eleven. So there's one, two, three, four. There's five, nine. So there's nine on the instruments, and then two sitting there doing whatever the heck they do. Maybe the piano counts as another instrument? I don't know. How long has that been there? Twelve? Oh, I forgot it was on. <laughs> that was an eyeball. Saying, what the eyeball? Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, we. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's nine. Right, there's one for each chair. In fact, they are indeed in front of each chair. Here you go. Play some music. Damn it. They're not making any more corkies. So, I want to know what to do now. I want to go in here. You won't let me. Throw a grenade. I... I just... I'm at such a loss. I feel like I've missed something obvious. Sometimes these games like to do that to you. Any in here? Anything in here? Oh. Any of these candles? Again, that thing. <laughs> the sound of it turning off echoes around the entire place, but the sound of it actually being on. Not hearing it. Open. Hello. Hello. Well, we found something. That's a good time to leave it, I think. It's been half an hour. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this, and I am absolutely bricking it. So uh, I'm going to play another episode. So I hope you will join me for that. I don't know when that will be out, but uh, do join me for it. And obviously, follow me on the usual channels. Look down in the description below for loads of cool stuff to follow along with at home. And until next time, again, thank you for watching. Oh, and I'll see you.